welcome to episode three of StockX TV. I'm your host, Josh Luber. Since our last episode, we launched watches and handbags onto the stock market of things next to sneakers. As part of that, they gave me this very nice, very expensive NMD watch. Excuse me, did I say NMD? MBNF, I'm still learning, MBNF watch. I don't know that much about watches yet, so for now, we're gonna do market watch with sneakers. In today's episode of Market Watch, we're gonna focus exclusively and entirely on the Adidas NMD. Originally released in December of 2015, the NMD has come in a wide variety of colors, patterns, retail price, and of course, resale price. One of the most interesting and one of my personal favorite is the Glitch Camo colorway. There were five OG colors that were released in early 2016. It was a blue, a yellow, olive, black, and gray. At the time, they resold for a lot pretty quickly, between three to $500. Since then, Adidas actually has released 11 different Glitch Camo NMDs. Some in the XR1, some in women, some in general release, none of them that had a really big resale value. Until a few weeks ago, Sneakers and Stuff did an NMD called the Data Mosh. Came in blue, came in orange. Both rare, both released just through Sneakers and Stuff, and both are selling right now for about $500. This is a great example. As these two shoes come out at 800, the original colors, the OG blue and yellow, in particular the blue, value has skyrocketed. In fact, there's an ask right now on StockX for the blue camo for $1,300. Anyway you look at it, the glitch camo is a good pattern. I'm sure we'll see more of the NMD, and it happens to be one of my personal favorite pairs. That's enough data for today. Let's go to a brand new segment, Rare Pairs. In Rare Pairs, we will try to take a look at shoes that we've never seen before, that you've never seen before. I know that's pretty hard to come by. At this point, with the internet, we think we've seen everything, but when we saw this one, we were genuinely blown away. This was given to us by John Buscemi. Thank you very much, John. It was given to him by someone at Jordan Brand. This is an unreleased sample Jordan 10. It's actually deer skin, or at least it says on the inside that it's deer skin. It's got no Jordan branding anywhere on the outside of it, on the tongue. The only Jordan brand it has at all is on the bottom. It's got that traditional Jordan 10 sole with all its accomplishments. Not sure what we're gonna do with this. Maybe we'll sell it for charity. Maybe we'll leave it here at the StockX office as a souvenir. Either way, it's a pretty crazy rare shoe that we've never seen before. With that, let's get right into today's feature. For today's feature, we bring you Hassan Minaj of The Daily Show. You've probably seen him a lot lately. He killed it at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. His Netflix special dropped last week. Before that, we had him on our introductory video with Wale and Fulmer Simpson, where he plays a piano and says, It's actually a stock market of things. And not too long ago, we had him stop by the StockX office, talking about sneakers, and actually let him authenticate a couple pairs of shoes. Let's take a look and see how he did. We're here at StockX, right outside the authentication room, sitting here with Hassan Minaj from The Daily Show, talking sneakers. Let's do it. I call this the Koopa Troopa show. Like, doesn't this look like a Nintendo show? I remember with the 11, there was like the infamous where the Jordan was. When a person had a fake one, it'd be like fat Michael Jordan. It's like, no, 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 you got the, like this is MJ on the Wizards. Like he's got a gut, like no, don't. This is like yeah. 85. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, don't cut no, thing. yeah, he's not in good form right now. Like he's I had too much Cheesecake Factory Jordan. For starters, like let's just talk about that the Daily Show piece, right? Can you give like some background for everyone on like how it came about? Like I think everyone's pretty excited that there was a piece on sneakers on the Daily Show. Which yeah, was awesome, right? I was always a sneakerhead in the office. Everyone knew that I was a sneakerhead, and I was like, I, I want to do something that I'm passionate about. Besides, you know, gerrymandering and district. You know what I mean? Like that, that's boring. But there was an act two that was maybe the most uh, controversial within the sneaker world, right? Where you were at SneakerCon. I basically broke the biggest code in the sneaker community, which is undesing a grail. I basically spit on the Mona Lisa, essentially. I would walk up to bread ones and just start bending them in front of people. So yes, I did, I did defile wow. uh, a national monument 
a, a bread one Jordan, but then I did I did pay for it. That's good though that you uh, although you could have totally fucked Comedy Central and, and grabbed like like uh, a repair of like, October's or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. I think a dude legitimately would have punched us. Yeah, yeah. Like it would have been a Trump rally at SneakerCon. It would have been. <laughs> Speaking that. of which, you guys did both of the conventions this year. Yeah. What's the difference in sneakers that you saw at a Republican convention? versus the Democratic Convention. A lot more cowboy boots. <laughs> okay. The Republican National Convention, y'all know how to party. It's so like, what do you look for on these? This one's the fakes. You see where the three stripes are on the cage? Yeah. On the fakes, they're glossy. Other than that, almost identical. Like Man, this is straight up like Santa sneaker workshop. Like literally one sneaker at a time. Like, uh, mm -hmm. boom, naughty or nice, boom. All right, send it to the kit. Uh -huh. These are elves over That's here. That's bananas. StockX is about stopping fakes. Do you have any stories with fakes? Yeah, so when I was a kid, um, one of the things that you always want as a kid was, is like PEs, player editions. So Rasheed Wallace was a very popular player when, when you know. Do you kid. see that? I was wearing my. Oh shit! My, my ball don't lie shirt. Oh, that's yeah. great. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Oh fuck, that's great. Yeah, so Rasheed was like a, an awesome player that would actually play in Air Force Ones. I'm not talking about just because of the Nelly song, like he would play in Air Force Ones and he had the infamous Sheed logo, basically him shooting the ball up here. It was great. So I was like, I want those shoes. And I would go on these, remember that you'd go to these like random websites like authenticsneakers.com or whatever, sneakers with a Z or just something. And you would buy these shoes from China or some other country and for $100 plus $40 shipping, you could get these shoes. And I remember I got the patent leather, black and red, Rashid Wallace, shoes and you put them on and it literally felt like I was wearing saran wrap on my feet like and it's just like they fell apart within two weeks. One of those two is real and one of those two is fake. Boost is the telltale sign? Okay. This one's a little bit firmer. This one's firmer. This one's like softer. I don't even know which one's the real or fake. I don't, I do not know. I know one of these is fake. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, told you that. I know, I know, but <laughs> I was faking it for like the Hollywood magic. Now I'm uh, like, I'm confused. The only thing is like, you know, on the mattress pad here. You can tell, there is a little, a little bit difference. There's a little right? bit even, of a difference. Yeah. Man, what's crazy? What's crazy? The fake's actually the softer. Yeah, right? here. Yeah, it's nuts, right? That's the fake. I was you're, gonna say, this is the real one. Yeah, your mind's blown, right? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. The person who sent you these, are they trying to pull a fast one on you? They might not know. Oh, they, they yeah. Now you gotta write a letter to the, oh, right, right, the right. seller. Dear seller, you played yourself. It says, <laughs> dear seller, you played yourself, not DJ Khaled. Hassan Minaj, if you don't know who this is, please Google. Yeah, please Google. Yeah, yeah. That's great. There you go, man. All right, well listen, cool. after the Daily Show, you got a job here as an authenticator. Oh, thanks, man. Cool. All right, man, I think we gotta uh, go do a show. All right, yeah, let's do it. This is so intimate, I can literally just jump into the front row and just stage dive in this emotional one-man show. All right, guys, it's showtime, I gotta go. See you guys there. So when you're like, hey, Hassan, they're like, Hanson. You're like, no, like that. <laughs> what is your name? Tony? Oh, fuck you, Tony. Are you serious? I would get like Hanson Minaja, Sahan Minha, Saddam Hussein. Like, <laughs> all in all, I'd, I'd say it's a good day. I uh, got to check out StockX. Sold out shows in Detroit. Um, got to write a letter to a dude trying to sell fake Yeezys. So uh, I think I was doing God's work. That wraps up episode three of StockX TV. Special thanks to Hassan Minaj for spending a lot of time with us at his show, here authenticating shoes, and just generally teaching us about comedy. On your way out the door, please stop at the gift shop. Buy a pair of NMG OGs. Maybe a watch, maybe a handbag, because a Jordan 10 deerskin doesn't even exist. Think about it, it's, a, it's almost, what is it, 11? It's 11 p.m. right now, in four hours, Donald Trump will be tweeting about how bad Nicki Minaj bombed at this dinner. And he'll be doing it completely sober. <laughs>